Do you think XRP being deemed not a security for retail investors is leading to a higher rate of adoption? That is a good question. What I've observed is XRP, along with a lot of crypto assets, I've more observed a consistent trend line of the market all kind of ebbing and flowing together. And of course, over the past several months, that has mainly been speculation and excitement or lack thereof around the Bitcoin ETF. So the market's kind of been moving more together versus in a segmented fashion. Yeah. Hey, hey, everybody, it's Eddie from Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update from Japan. And that intro was a January 19th podcast with Ripple President Monica Long. She was on the Chain Reaction podcast where she sat down with Jacqueline Malinik of TechCrunch. And so XRP being deemed not a security has not given it the capability to move separate from the crowd. Let's hear from Monica one more time. Which other blockchains do you admire? Ethereum, absolutely. Bitcoin. I think Polygon, too, has made some really great strides, you know, on the layer two side. Ethereum, absolutely. Bitcoin and Polygon. Well, in looking at newcomers that are coding on crypto ecosystems, Ethereum, in terms of developers, is outstanding with 16,747 in 2023. Polygon, 6,200, followed by Solana, BNB, Cosmos, Arbitrum, Polkadot, Near, and Avalanche. Bitcoin at 1,853. And then move all the way down to the right, you see XRP sandwiched between Tezos and Tron at 300. The XRP ledger needs many more newcomers. And I'm happy to hear that there are others in the community that are picking up on this. In this video, we're going to take a look at one brand new project that the token was released a few days ago. And this is an example of utility demand. But first, I want to tell you that there is a virtual pass now on sale. So if you can't come to Australia, but you want to hear from the 25 speakers that are lined up, and yes, there are four of them from a company that starts with the letter R, you can do that through the virtual pass. The first pass to sell today was from Sheridan, Wyoming. It's going to be really fun to see everyone from around the world be able to tap in to this conference. And definitely set your reminder for the Genfinity space that's going to have the Ripple X head of research, where they'll talk about the decentralized identity on the XRP ledger. Ryan and his Genfinity team, they are really leading the hosted blockchain content on X with their high quality guests. Okay, let's hear a little bit from that time I spent with Scott Chamberlain of Evernode. And until next time, do take care. Sayonara for now. Bye-bye. We've launched Evernode now on Zahao. Um, We used an airdrop hook to do the airdrop. We had nearly 40,000 people register for the airdrop. And that's, you know, that's a really good test for hooks, right? So we've distributed 20 million, just over 20 million tokens in, um, you know, roughly 38,000 transactions. You know, you you wouldn't want to do that manually. (laughs) And, And if we did do it via just uh, the pure ledger, then it would have taken several hours probably for that to process to happen. We, you know, we can say with 100% confidence that putting hooks on a side chain rather than the main ledger was the right thing to do. And it's just, it's the first time hooks has been used. It's, it's the first time Zahao has been used and it was used hard, like people's infrastructure was hammered and um, we learn a lot from doing that process. But I think it's, you know, it's a wonderful demonstration of um, of the power of that technology. It means everyone, effectively, everyone got the airdrop at the same time. 
even though they didn't get their tokens at the same time. And that, that was tremendously useful. Two exchanges came to the party on supporting the airdrop out of the woodwork. It wasn't, we didn't expect exchanges to be interested, but these two that are, you know, Bitru and Uphold that are always been supporters of the XRP network, they came on board and I think Uphold, clearly because Uphold supported XRP throughout the court, you know, it was the only exchange in the US that really had the balls to say, well, XRP is not a security until the court says, you know, you have to give Uphold credit for the cojones that required. And it clearly worked out from them in a business sense. They ended up with, um, out of the 5 million odd tokens for the airdrop, their users are getting 3.8 million of them. We've now black holed the issuing account. So, you know, there's a security measure. It's like, well, you know, if something goes catastrophically wrong, we might need to issue new evers or do something to, to fix that. We've passed that point. So there's now 72 odd million evers that have been issued and there can be no more evers ever issued again. It's wonderful that we've got this technology, the hook technology to be able to do this, right? So the Evers, the 52 million Evers that have yet to be distributed are sitting inside the airdrop hook. And just every hour they're, you know, it's, you know you're a host on the network, you're a host on the network. We split the rewards between you two and send send it out. It's, it's um, you know... It's working, and uh, it's really encouraging to see the number of the new number of hosts that we've got, you know, because the network's more valuable, more useful. This is, you know, this is how Ethereum bootstrapped itself, right? It's very encouraging early days. I have no doubt that there's going to be new use cases that come out that are just perfect for that technology that were never intended for that, but are perfect for that. Yeah, so the, you know, so how could yeah? There's lots of stuff you can do with hooks. I'm looking forward to seeing what other people have got planned for for hooks and so how. Now that we've we've certainly tested it, we we certainly gave the network a hammering, and we've now got you know there is by dint of Evernote being on Zahao, there is just an awful lot of um traffic on Zahao compared to what's actually on the XRP ledger. So the XRP ledger dealing with payments and offer payments and, you know, things on the decks and stuff. But when you look at the transactions going across, there isn't an awful lot of payments unless you've got these um, idiot projects spamming it with ordinals and, and other rubbish. For Zahao, you know, we've got every hour the host sends a heartbeat to the heartbeat hook. So it's basically saying, I'm alive. Please send me my reward. I'm alive. Please send me my reward. All right. And what the hook is doing is taking that and going, okay, that person's alive. Um, let's add them to the list. They they get this much, they get this much. And it holds on to that and then it batches it into into a payment because we we can't just simply stream the payments because that's um that would be prohibitively expensive. So there's an awful lot of just just activity. Uh, Evernote creates activity on Zahao. Just that is what allows Evernote to be stitched together, right? I'm here, you're here, he's this, your payment, you do this. You know, so it's all it's a network talking to each other, doing stuff. And that's just, you know, it's just pulsing away, just bang, bang. Bang. It worked like that on the test net, and it's really nice to see that that's working in production. This this is the way forward, guys. Come and come and build on this platform because this tech works. And that's been, been five years. Holy crap. <laughs> you look, yeah, you look great, though. I mean, you don't look like you just went through um, a launch. <laughs> you, look, <laughs> you, look really, <laughs> you look really relaxed, and you don't look tethered and weathered and and frail 